Uh, I'm over here with uh, Terra Mike and Jumpy Art. If maybe you want to take turns and talk about how you got into crypto and wax and your project. But I'm assuming that Jumpy Art was a thing before crypto. I'm assuming it's the physical stuff was first. So just let just give us a little background of how it came to be. So, um, that's actually a funny story. Yeah. Awesome. Jumby, Jumby's been doing this for a really, really, really long time. Um, that's why I was saying kind of like a dragon on a big pile of treasure is he's been creating art since he was able to create art. And he's a very digital artist. Um, and so everything is, you know, backed up for years and years and years on hard drives and things. And a lot of the pieces that he creates take like years to make. They're not something that you just sit down like one time and you knock it all out. It's inspiration over the course of days, weeks, months, years. You know, um, one of the pieces that we're getting ready to release, right? I'm allowed to talk about this, Jumby has been in the works for well over three years is thousands of layers in photoshop wow. is over 20 gigabytes for one file it's not even a psd file anymore it's a psb which i don't know what that stands for i think it stands for show photoshop big or something because <laughs> it's just one image 20 plus gigabytes um you know it's like nine feet tall you know when you do the math and pixels to foot it's gigantic and so, you know, it took him years of, of sitting in front of this gigantic monitor that doesn't have a camera or a microphone in it, but you can draw on it, you know, years wow. of sitting down and getting inspiration from all different civilizations across the entire globe. They all make their way into this one piece. So basically all of Jumbie's images are really stories that when you put light to them, they come to life, but they also tell a story just flat. Nice. So there's a lot here that, you know, needs to be appreciated. And we didn't want to just come to crypto and come to the blockchain and start giving away all sorts of art and things like he let it kind of chill for a minute and see what was going on. We didn't want to get into anything too fast. We're sitting on a lifetime of priceless art mm -hmm. that we're, you know, trying to get out there and let people appreciate and you know we didn't want to sell one piece of art for a million dollars and now that one person is the only one that gets to own it that seemed right. unfair to everybody so wax was a kind of a way for us to be able to take the art and share it with everyone in a way that allows everyone to appreciate it however they want and get what they want and need from it um, but not cut anyone out because they didn't have enough Ethereum or enough thousands of dollars to own a piece of Jumbie art, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but then on the same exact flip side of that, the opposite of that is all of these pieces of art are being made into right now one of one physicals that are amazingly beautiful. And, and those are expensive. You know, those are fine art pieces. Yeah, they ought to be. Yeah, like and you say, so, so many hours put in. Uh, yeah, before you continue, so Sorry. <laughs> you, you have phys I know that you have physical art and there's a lot to do with light too. Like different types of light hitting the art makes it look different. And and we're going to dive into that specifically when when you screen share. I think it's really interesting. But then also here on the NFTs, like this, this is an animation, right? I'm looking at the, uh, I, I guess a one of one smiley and it's got all the trippy visuals happening inside it and how what's what's some of the process of doing that the digital apart like what i'm looking at here like is this all just a digital animation or is it like tied to so, the light stuff that with the physicals so it's it's there's two parts of the trick happening here what you're seeing is the second half of the trick of just making the light rotate through the rainbow so it gives you that effect however Jumbi created the original piece of art super colorful like that so that when it's put to motion it does that trippy mm -hmm. acid melting sort of feeling but that's a single picture just on an eight second timeline where we change the color over eight seconds and that's what happens 
So you're changing the lighting of, wow, we're gonna, yeah, we need to get into this. This is really, really interesting stuff. Uh, awesome. Yeah, you wanna tell us more about just the, the, the background? Hey, Jumby, you haven't said anything. You wanna tell us a little bit of anything about you? I got you, man. I'm here, I'm here, I'm listening. I'm listening, I'm watching, I'm, I'm taking it in, I'm taking it in. So uh, let me tell you a little bit about the uh the way i came about this this is this is what we're doing is we're using light physics to shift your normal spectrum of perception um you're used to seeing with a white light perspective granted from the sun which is all the colors at the same time that could be added up equal white when they all are on at the same time it turns into white and so what you see in reality when you're walking around and you're looking at a couch or a pillow or whatever the hell, yeah, you what you see is the the inverse. Like if it's a blue pillow, it's every color but blue, and you're seeing the reflected like negative, right? That's how you know what color it is. So in your eye, <clears throat> the reason you see it in that sort of inverse way is because you have uh, a red, green, and a blue cone in your eye, and I think about them like if you were to have like three fingers trying to read Braille, right? And everything you look at is considered technically a pixel that your fingers are going to run over and say, what percentage red, green, or blue is in that thing I'm looking at? That pillow or that couch or that chair or that coffee cup, right? What are the colors that I see? And whatever those are, it's, it's, your fingers are running over them and giving you like a bar graph of like, oh, there's this percentage blue and only this percentage green, but all this percentage red. And suddenly you've made that little key signature that makes that color and is basically what, what you're perceiving. So when we use the, the spectral light format of shifting the color from red to green to blue, your eye is basically not reading in braille anymore. They are in cycle where it's one is coming in as the other is going out, kind of like a like a, on a clutch, right? In a car, right? So the red is coming in to full spectrum as the blue is falling out. And then the green comes in as the red is falling out. And then the blue comes in as the green falls out. And it just chases itself in this torusing circle and so by doing that, we've changed the way you are reading visible information. So we have shifted your spectrum of perception by adding the color changing light to the content in which you are perceiving. Nice. I happen to go out of my way to really emphasize and play with the advantages of use of the lapse of time and the amount of negative space that can be filled depending on what color is coming or going to allow you to have all kinds of really fun interactive uh content so that's that's what we call spectral art and it's uh it's a bit of a movement but it's light physics so it's the way you see and with this light we can activate the way everyone sees so we're trying to bring this as like a new art form into the world and present these portal canvases that we've created, spectral art frames that allow your art to be shown in this color changing format. And so that that's sort of what we're trying to trying to bring to the world. And we felt like the wax blockchain makes the most intelligent sense systematically for nice. doing something like this. Nice. And everything else is gonna have to just join on because they're behind on the <laughs> the intelligence of what it is so yeah uh, come wow. out you that, guys that was so great. eloquently described that that's like kind of mind-blowing <laughs> for anybody that's like like not full into it like this is whoop, this is like you don't we don't think about this kind of stuff this is really like really it's, it's <laughs> trippy it's beautiful this is, i live in this it's this is where i'm at I'm, gonna, I'm trying about, to figure out how to step out of here into where you're at and like not break it too hard when I do, but like also show everybody like, look what this can do. <laughs> I, I'm turning your screen share on. How about you keep on going, nope. but, but show stuff with your screen share, show examples and different things, whatever you want on your website, on your collection. So I'm sitting at the screen shared computer right now. Um, I'm looking at the inverse right now. So, yeah, 
You need to like switch windows for it. Let's see. Let me. Um, what are we working on? Let me let me open up After Effects and see something cool that is out there. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we got a few. We got a few tricks hiding around the corner. Some that, tricks you know. and, and some examples. Yeah. Like we just looked at the melty face for a bit, but yeah, show some more examples of different art. It's awesome, and then more, more of the oh, behind yeah. the scenes. It's awesome. Oh yeah, we can walk around the mothership too and show you some cool shit. We got a, we got a bunch of stuff floating around. Just a bit. I mean, they 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 told us to stay in here for a couple of years, right? So like, I just covered the whole thing, like. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, give us a little tour of the studio. That'd be great too. Yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll do that. I, I need a little uh, a little coaching on how to make our tech that I'm using here to work right, so I don't like end up hanging up on us inadvertently trying to turn shit around. It's not really my thing. I, I'm really really solid in my Photoshop game, and then like outside of Neo moving pixels in that realm, uh, most other things I'm kind of kind of not noob but like less than your you know most most sharpest utensil but uh i love learning all sorts of cool new stuff but being in the middle of this i almost hung up on us once already so <laughs> okay. to break it. Yeah. that's terrible uh, mike that's your screen share right i'm still just seeing you on a st yeah. standing on a rock you want to yeah i'm uh i'm about you, to set working up on it okay yeah, I'm setting up something for cool. us to be able to see. All right, cool. What's up, online in? Hi, friends. Got to drive, but want to show some love. All right. Well, thanks for showing love. We just gave out a couple mystery boxes from you, online in. Uh, yeah, they're actually they're going to show us some cool stuff here. If anybody has questions about anything along the way, just throw them in the chat. We'll ask them. We'll ask them. We're going to look at some cool artworks and and stuff, and want to learn more about this light this light stuff. How does this light Spectra art work and how do you actually make it? This is very interesting. So I'm making this mostly on Photoshop, but that's just the weapon that I wield. Um, mostly what I'm doing is I'm, I'm thinking it up and how it's going to, how it's going to sit. Uh, I, I normally see my image that I want to create before I start to create it. So I have to prep a fair bit of things I'm going to need in order to execute what has been downloaded into my brain and uh, make sure it, it delivers correctly and then develop a flow of, you know, what order of operations I'm going through and what, what system is going to like build it in the right storytelling format that, that brings it apart. Oh, there goes Mike's bringing up our yeah. Anubis piece. Yeah. I got and so, yep. That's what I use too. Um, but I don't do nice. it like that though. It looks awesome. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, brother. I appreciate you. So, uh, let's see what. Where would I say? Where were we? Uh, oh, but I don't know. It's a, it's, it's a digital art form, and so th think about it like, uh, like topographical map, right? Okay. If, if I were to, I start with an all black canvas, and then I just kind of like pull the image out of the screen. Like I, I just like pull it from the darkness. I don't know. I just like layer it up in many layers of like translucent components building over top of each other to develop new pieces and then puzzle piece it together into this, you know, format that I can see before I start. I used to, I've drawn for my whole life. So like I used to like hand sketch out everything all the time. And now I, I got this situation where I basically call it my projection system Jarvis because he just kind of takes over and starts doing stuff sometimes when <laughs> I don't really drive anymore. Some of it, it just like starts happening and I can just, oh, I can see this laying over top of whatever I look at. So I'll just l stare at this black screen and then start filling in the pieces. And so that's sort of what I do. I'm, I'm working on a Wacom tablet, a big Cintiq. So it's uh, like the Ferrari of drawing on digital formats. And I absolutely love it. So I pretty much stay stuck to that thing and uh, make as much. Oh, so, so you so you're painting the original, the flat piece, I guess, on a monitor, like you're like a like a big tablet. So it's like a like a, with a stylus or something like on the actual screen. <laughs> It has a stylus, but so so the way the way it works is it's 
it's a it's a mixed media kind of collage of different types of techniques coming into play so i like to take fractions and slivers of imagery and build new imagery out of building that under layer that normally i would have to sketch and then coming in over top of it and doing lots and lots of drawing and layer techniques on top of that and then the knowing knowing the way the the color theory works uh with the light and how it's going to elapse with the time allows me to you know kind of have a a step-by-step -step kind of timeline that's allowed to happen as far as what gets revealed and when because you know what color is going to come next because it's going to go in a sequence but then <laughs> i've been doing this for quite a while i've been doing this since 2008 when i accidentally figured it out with a glow stick at a, a festival uh staring at my picture in the dark and was like oh whoa, look what my picture already does this is unprecedented what is going on and it was uh it was pretty clear because i i was i'm adopted into uh uh my parents are uh biomedical eye scientists so i'm like the adopted art school kid that like you know didn't go to art school but went to state school and decided that playing with light and art at the same time would be a fun thing to do in this pastime and next thing you know boom look what this is going on <laughs> yeah. so <laughs> it's kind of evolved into some things so we're trying to figure out ways to apply this and show everyone that what we're bringing to light is something that is already happening. If more people could just see their ability to tap into it, I'm excited to see the expansive quantum growth of creativity that comes pouring out of people having access to tools to do this kind of output because they're just going to go in their own unique direction, which I think is going to really blossom into this magnificent lotus <laughs> beautifully said that's awesome that's awesome yeah i had to put my girlfriend up on screen here she would be mad at me if i didn't ha <laughs> <coughs> this is bossed goddess from our egyptian series nice so you got so so you draw the flat piece first and then you're here at after effects and you're using all these tools to to do the changing of the colors yeah, we, we as I assemble everything in Photoshop because it's like uh, an eight track that has infinite mix down layers. I can just keep going. My my most recent pieces I've reached uh, I've reached over fifteen hundred layers in single pieces, which is a little ridiculous. Um, but I love pushing the boundary of it, and I just can't stop. Like I said, topographical. I work a little in this bit and pull it up, and then I work a little in this bit and I pull it up. It's mm -hmm. like it's like oil painting with picture slivers and infinite layers of painting and blending and layer effects and wow it's yeah. a, it's a it's a menagerie i i am i am not trained to do this they, they taught me photoshop for maybe what i don't know two weeks in college they taught us what every button in the in the program did and then they kind of cut us loose and I was like, uh oh, I'm I'm dark room trained because they wouldn't let me do drawing in school in Kentucky because I got into a existential debate with the art teacher who didn't like my perspective well enough. Uh, so we, we didn't butt heads. So he wasn't going to let me do anything. So I'm the kid in in high school. It's like sneaking into the art class and doing people's homework because I have access to the materials and like. They locked me away in the photo lab so I could like just be in the back in the dark room and no one would bother me. And I've just been bending light, man, printing, doing bending photo light. related things forever. Yeah. yeah. And not only that, but you have a whole merch site and like physicals. Uh, and you also have, I saw your Novo Pangea collab thing going on. Yeah. So you have like a that physical so art hang up wall yes. art, but it's digital, yep. like a digital that's screen. A, that's right? Is portal. that right? That's our. It's our portal, our spectral art frame that uh, that we we've been we're simulating on this virtual uh, screen that you're seeing right now, and then we've also got a house full of them 
and other art. But yeah. yes, we we make many things. Our Nova Pangea project is super awesome. It is. Uh, it's they, gorgeous. Those guys are amazing, and I love the artwork that they're doing. We took their artwork and activated it, and I put just a tiny bit of like color theory hot sauce on there, not much, just a little touch here and there, hot and then sauce. had their art printed on it so that on we, we print on a film that uh, works really well for being this uh, lovely backlight situation that just looks juicy like a glowing wet ice cube that's melting and pouring acid all over itself somehow. And uh, it's quite enjoyable to look so, at. It's so very, these, these um, frames, are they, are they kind of like a, a screen and it's just an animation that's playing on the screen or is it at a physical? No, 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 a it's physical? a light box. You're looking at a simulated animation of it on a computer screen right now, but the physical piece is a light box that is so, making a two-dimensional flat printed artwork change and animate as if it was animated. What we do is we move the way you see the two-dimensional piece. We bend the light by shifting the color. Instead of it being a white light perspective, we shift it, shift the color, and it looks like the picture is moving, but again, you are having a biological response to the shifting color of the light and you are moving as the picture stands still. Your eyes are oscillating in a way they don't normally do. So yeah, I, I wanted you to that. really ex explain that. Yeah, and, and do you have a, a, a visual of that, Mike, if you want to show? Yeah, it? yeah. Yeah, I can like, share see, how, do I, how do I put this camera on here? You got a camera? You got a camera? I got a camera. Uh, you can use the same. Well, if you gotta use your phone, uh, yeah. Let me let me import that. I can do that. Give me a second. Yeah. So you can give me a second. I'll get you here. But yeah, uh, it, it's a physical, box, a wall hanging, a light box, which is like a it, it like you yeah, can it's look a picture inside. frame. It's like a thick frame you can look inside. But it's not a digital screen well, that's animated. You, it's you a, don't you don't look inside. You don't look inside. It's just it's a it's thick. Not super thick. It's right, right. We can do it thick and thin. It don't really matter. Okay. But yeah, you're not looking inside. Yeah, I, I get. It. I know. Yeah, I, I like it, the image is up on the front face of it, and it's being backlit, and it has just enough space behind it to allow the color changing light to affect its output. And so we we've, we've made several of our large ones that have. Um, we have, wait, which one are we at? Where are you at? Oh, you got the little ones. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to see where you're going. Here. I Let me. I still don't have the show, camera. Show me, keep, show keep, me how to keep keep camera on. Okay. Oh, oh, we're still not in loaded. Okay, okay. Never mind. Um, so we've got ones that have uh, standard effects where we're doing the, the standard color fade, which is what was being simulated online, where just okay. as you change it from red, green to blue, I got it you will I got your camera uh, on now. change the way. Ah, there we go. Cut, so, but. get get up close enough so they can see the the effects getting in there. So, what we've got in this guy is we have an entire uh, LED matrix behind the artwork. There we go. Oh boy. There we go. All right. So we're looking at a physical. It's not a computer screen. It's a physical painting, but or uh, the art. But then the light is switching around and it makes it look like it's transforming the way that you saw the NFT animation transform, which is yes. insane to yeah. me. That's I've never That's seen that in real life. I've never seen it until I saw you guys. Yeah, keep showing some of what you got here. Look at that, beautiful. But look, so behind it, we, we didn't put the light board in this yet. This is just the art printed, put it in the frame, sealed in there. And then we'll put these light boards that have special chips with special programming to make it run, you know, all the different lighting, whatever it is. Right, it allows us to have, instead of just a single color, we can now have a grid and run waves of color and different simulated, like, effects on the back of the portal, which allows us to do far more fun effects than just your standard fade we can now daisy chain different combo effects of things going through like i said i've been doing this for a while so i eventually i got to a point where i just needed to have more control over the output of the actual artwork that's beautiful yeah i, I love this kind of stuff too just trippy art just a, like a yeah 
If, if one, if a lame person was going to describe this type of art, they'd, be, they'd call it trippy, <laughs> trippy art. I, I love Absolutely, it. It's so yeah. pretty. Yeah. So, Mike, sh show them up top. Show them up top that we have it on printed, on tapestries. These, these up here, these are ten oh, foot wow. tall tapestries, and we have a front light pointed on them because we do stuff like stage work and things like that. That'll oh, occasionally my God. have a slip. tapestry. Yeah. So it doesn't even. It, it's literally oh, the we art. Got it doesn't, you don't need it to be a shadow box or not. It's just the art itself, and you're shining light on it. The art itself is designed to integrate and work with the light no matter what. But the beautiful thing is the light changes anyway. We saw we were we had a, we had apes up on the on the mm -hmm. screen for a moment, right? It it changes the way you perceive color. I just know how you're going to inadvertently now perceive color and can hide all kinds of fun optical illusion tricks that are going to pop in and out as the color changes, leave you in a wonderful state of mystery. Whereas, you know, standard white light, you can do lots of cool tricks with that as well. It's just, you know, we're a new type of optical illusion that's based on light physics. I'm literally just toying with the way you see, but yeah. using this light can make anybody's anything come to life it might not be as you know trippy drippy ass encoded as mine like my arts on drugs for you but this effect alone is actually kind of something that you know legitimately gives you a a new perspective it's like show you how fragile what we can see as our reality actually is because less than one percent of the visible light spectrum of all of existence is perceivable by our eyeball and by just shifting the light from red to green to blue we can see just how you know not necessarily stationary everything stationary can be mm -hmm. beautiful well you guys like this tour they got you got one heck of a studio there that's a cool Oh yeah, you're at the mothership, man. The this mothership. Is, I told you, man. They locked me in here, and so I just started covering everything. We got carpets and yoga mats and whatever. And, and my G's upstairs building. If you can out print stuff. on it, we can make it do this. And, and you guys are in Vegas, right? Las Vegas. Yes, sir. Here in Vegas. Yeah, and Las you just Vegas, him, baby. You just heard him say Mike Mike Decrypto is up there coding some wax out stuff. So he's chilling with your guys over That's at right. your studio, huh? That's awesome. Yes, sir. We, 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 we all love, we, uh, we all we love the Waxed Out tools. Cool. Yes, sir. Waxed Out for life. You ready to see the cool new stuff he's coming up with over here in this creative think tank? By the way, I'm pretty sure Mike D is uh, a fresh new, uh, what is it, a block producer, I believe, at this oh, point. Yeah? So we got to get much, much love and support to this man because he's, he's making magic for us. That's good. To, that's good to hear. Yeah, that's awesome to hear. He's still trucking as hard as he is. We appreciate it. Uh, and yes. I appreciate you explaining some of this. This was great. We're going to do a, a grubfish here. We'll take, take a little mini break. And after that, yeah. um, you can guys can keep going. But before the grub, I want, I want to uh, actually – open a pack and look at some of the packs that you guys got. Uh, I'm going to open a, a sticker pack and, and we'll give that away on the grubs and you can talk about the NFTs a little bit more, but also Mr. Funkin crypto has a question and he says, uh, ask him about Kentucky, please. What can you say about Kentucky? <laughs> what can I say about Kentucky? Uh, I am from Kentucky. In fact, uh, Jumby from Kentucky is how I am most notably, uh, expressed um most places in the country i am from there i love that wonderful state it is my favorite homeland that i have existed in and uh what what more about kentucky can i say i don't know i there's about to be the 150th uh running of the kentucky derby we we gamified it on wax and uh made it a, a thing like when you're at home uh in kentucky if you don't go to the actual derby people at home do like a derby party right and so they have everyone over and you you draw a ticket out of a bucket and uh you know pick your horse randomly or know what number you want and then it's like a it's an in-house little pool everybody wins like throwing oh, a buck in your fun. Feet. Yeah, that's but, uh, Funkin's from Kentucky. He asked where yet we're from. Where around in Kentucky? Oh yeah, I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville. There you go. I've been there once. 
I'm not far from there. Oh, yeah. I'm in West Virginia. I'm a state West over. West Virginia? <laughs> oh, dang, man. Woo! I'm running around your woods, but yeah. Yeah, I'm in, uh, <laughs> in the capital, Charleston. One of the few crypto heads here. I'm not even a crypto head. I'm, I'm a, just a wax creator, but I'm one of the few in this area. <laughs> All right, so I'm looking at the Melty Face collection. This is a sticker pack, and I guess you're gonna get a couple things by it per pack, right? It said, uh, "What did it say here?" It yeah, there's there's a staking face, token one in melty, there. or one mini Melty Face. Tell us a little bit about these. What are these, and how they used in any way? So basically, Melty Face is a culmination of like years of jumbies art that we put onto smiley faces because everyone seemed to really enjoy them jumbie made this cool little smiley face and everyone really liked it so we just kind of kept going with it um, but the packs we did the packs a little bit differently um there's mint number one packs that i think we sent a few mm -hmm. that those are those are mint number ones of the melty faces so it's the same melty phase as all the rest, but those are the mint number ones. Only mint number ones come out of those packs. So for all the people out there who like that first mint, those yeah. are the packs that have well, all of those. Were, I thought they were one of ones. Isn't that what they're called? There's there's also another pack of the animated ones that change color. Those are one of ones. Oh. So yeah, I, pulling those packs. We got, we got the one of one packs. Uh, that's going to be a puzzle prize and a bounty black prize. And then we have the pre-minted melty face packs yeah the pre-minted are the mint no, number one. Oh, okay i see i didn't even realize that they were different okay so the yeah that's for all the mint number one collectors out there who like okay those, we're gonna those save that ones. then we're gonna save those for the bounty block then uh well how many we got here? no we'll open one we'll give we'll open one and give that on the grubs and then uh, a few more yeah that's cool we have ones. some too cool. i can throw some into a pool for for that for sure we have a couple uh well you said you already said it quite a bit oh i mean uh but you're also welcome to always donate more for future streams uh if you want so as i keep doing streams we give away random stuff and we'd love to have some more melty face packs all right let's open one of these guys then a pre-minted melty face mint number one pack boom this is gonna go to first place of the next grub fish Give it a second. Come on now. Come on, Alcor. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. Ooh. A mini melty face sticker. Oh, okay. It's transparent nice and then so basically the thought for these was you know they're fun little profile pictures but they also you collect 10 of the stickers and you can burn it into another pack because they have um they have staking tokens in them that mm -hmm. are all they all stake at different values so a lot of people collect a bunch of melty faces burn 10 of them get another pack try to get those big staking tokens so that's kind of the little game inside the game there okay so yeah i'm getting uh yeah the staking to oh we got some more here another mini one here's a melty face sticker <laughs> looks so cool so trippy tell me about this staking token then what how are people are using but it's an nft right how people are using that it's an nft so basically um jumby makes all this amazing art and we were having it be stakeable and so it's taking it out of people's wallets and putting it somewhere where no one can see it. So he wanted to make sure that the cool art stayed in the wallet. And so we just made staking tokens that are just like pixelated smiley faces. They aren't really artistic. They're more for the DeFi aspect and the, the, the token aspect. But they stake on WaxDAO for, you know, X amount, one through five RG bits per hour. And okay. we're going to be doing lotteries with that, all sorts of stuff. We're just kind of growing the whole Jumbi NFT ecosystem yeah. so and the, trying the, to share it back, you know? Yeah, so those are the better things that you want, these staking tokens. I like how the, even though it's pixelated, it's still changing colors. That's cool looking. 
we got a Jumbie coin on this one too. What's a Jumbie coin do? So for the um, one of one packs, you have to have a Jumbie coin as one of the blend ingredients. And when we first launched like two years ago, our series one came with a bunch of tokens, Jumbie coins were out there, but now people have been using them. There's not as many out there. So we kind of relaunched them in these new packs and made them a, a, an ingredient to get the, the one of one animated melty faces. All right. So yeah, you got some stuff going on here. So it's a, it's still, it's just an art thing, but then you got your, your staking tokens you can stake. I like it. Everyone's a different, uh, I'm sure you have all sorts of designs, huh? When I'm opening these, the design on oh, the, the melty face. There's, so there's 222 unique melty faces and they each have their own t-shirt and their own web page on Jumbie's site. Um, we're getting stickers made soon. People, people are digging it. We brought it to electric forest and people at electric forest were digging it. And so we're just kind of trying to put smiles on faces, man. Mm -hmm. Right. Smiles on faces. How can Smile. you be mad at the smiley guy? Always be the smiley Smile guy. All right. Yeah, that's awesome. I think I have one more I can, before I uh, overdo my promises here, but uh open yeah let's open this last one and whatever i just opened we'll go on the next two grub fish so we're gonna do that next last call exclamation mark plan your wallet let's get in here well that's beautiful that looks cool who wants a smiley <laughs> funkin wants one <laughs> all right oh another jumpy coin cool there's another design how often do you do any kind of new drops or are you just rolling with these for now? Um, we're actually, we've got something in the works right now for a piece that's being released. Uh, but usually like once a month, we try to do something fun that we, we kind of surf for the month. Okay. Okay. So just keep an eye out. And, and when you do new drops, what kinds of things are they? Are they more multi phases? Are you also doing drops of just various arts or anything? There's, I don't know. I, we were talking about a few things coming down the pipe. Again, giant dragon on a giant pile of treasure. What makes sense to release into the world next is very kind of important to us and like where it's all at. So, but I think, I think there's, there's a few things on the horizon. We, we like to do puzzles, right? Jumby likes puzzles. Hey, so we you're like in the right spot for things. puzzles. I know, I know. It's so much more fun to like take a piece of art uh -huh. that has art in it and then break it apart and then put it back together. There's there's something really fun about that in, in, in the collecting world. It just, I don't know, it feels yeah. fun. It works, yeah. I mean, obviously we have our puzzle uh, app, but but it, I think it's a fun concept too for, for pieces and blending to where you, you, you would break up an art piece into NFTs and then collect them off the blend to get the full version like our like our map piece we're doing here at uh, nftopia i think it's fun it's the fun stuff uh especially if you have like you said like art real legit high quality art that, <laughs> that color changes in front of your eyes that's awesome that's like really awesome uh let's see i one four five six seven eight nine ten uh, all right let's go ahead and give uh, without naming what, well, we got two Jumbi coins. That's going to be first place. All right. Give me half a second. We'll tally these prizes up and then get going. So first we'll get the Jumbi coin. Fifth, we'll get a staking coin, which we have three of, Ooh, four of. So 10th also gets a staking coin. And then the rest are just random, uh, either a mini or not mini, whatever we just saw. Uh, that's what those will be. So we'll give it to 15th, 20th, 25th, and 30th. So all of them are jumpy, uh, jumpy prizes. And then the biggest floater can get a promo from Consumer Break. All right. So every fifth place here wins a Jumbie Art Prize. And 
the biggest splurter gets a promo. Same thing for the next grub fish. And then after that, we'll have some more different other ones. Uh, but then after this grub too, we'll go back into uh, the stuff you're doing. I, I want to look at your site too. You have merch and things. Really cool. All right. Uh, without me blabbing on further, let's go ahead and do this in three, in two, in one. I got a luck. I got a luck. All right. Well, we learned some cool stuff already. This was, uh, I didn't even know how, how literally it is light on a physical object. I thought it was more so, more digital than what you're saying. Like the whole tapestry thing and you shine lights on it and it changes the colors, looks looks like it's transforming, like it's a digital. That's cool, that's trippy right there. Our clothes do it too, bro, you have no yeah, idea. Yeah, I imagine <laughs> so if it's doing, if it's just on any art, then yeah, all your if clothes you, would if do If you it. can print on it, we can make it do this. Wow, so we're gonna look at some of this clothing, some of the stuff on the website, uh, which I, I can screen share, but yeah, that's, go, that's bro, awesome. Go. Oh man, I, I gotta say, man, I absolutely love your interactive uh, show here, you guys. It's, <laughs> It is just fantastic, and I love the way everything that works. It's so cool. Thank you. Now, I'm not the only one that does grub. Most of the wax streamers do giveaways, like a game of some kind. But yeah, I, I like I like the, this grubfish game. It works. Oh, no, I'm just talking about your entirety of and the then, show. Grubfish, <laughs> right. awesome, for sure. I'm just like the whole thing. You were showing like the phone on there, like the yeah, interactive yeah, yeah. multi-screens. That's just too <laughs> cool, man. I absolutely love it. All right. Well, thank you. You, thank you. Yeah, and then since NFTopia, I've been doing it in the pond too as an extra thing. And yeah, we got nice. we got my puzzle. That's right. That's right. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, all right, penny bags. You just got yourself the jumpy coin. Uh, and then we got the staking coin going to Brera Pin in fifth, Funkin' Crypto in tenth. Ooh, we got the staking coin, Funkin'. Uh, then we have the random Jumbi Art sticker, the Melty Face stickers that we just opened. It'll just be a random one. Uh, Boom Shankar in 15th. We got Master Rays in 20th. Tissues in 25th. Old Mankey in 30th. Congrats. Biggest Grub Splutter is Rising Dragons with three murders. You Grub Murderer. You get a promo from Consumer Break. Well done. All right. Go ahead, join again. We're going to do the same thing and circle back in just a jiffy. So just a heads up for the people uh, winning the staking tokens. If if you don't have any interest in staking or any of that, you can burn them for our other cryptocurrency called Grotons and then just sell them on the market for wax. You know, if you... Oh, if, nice. So you have a token yeah, we, as well? Is yeah, we've got token? two. Okay, We've got yeah. two. One is more for, you know, the art generates it and we use that to do fun stuff. But then our our other currency is more like a Bitcoin. The It's more of a store of value. You know, it comes into the system very slow. It doesn't matter how big of a whale you are. It still only drips in at a certain rate. Um, so we're trying to store our value. And then when we sell the VIRL NFTs of blank portals for other artists and other people, they're going to be purchased with our currency so we can kind of, you know, track that and see how that's working. Nice. But in the interim, we've tried to make the collection very liquid. Um, and uh, yeah, like if you don't have an interest in staking or waiting the time and doing all that, you could just burn it and, you know, get some value out of it right away. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. You got a little token. Do you are you plan or or already are selling physical merch using your token, <laughs> or not enough demand for something like that? We're, or, or we're not NFTs? there yet. Even NFTs. We're, we're we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, we're Shopify. We use Shopify for the uh, back end of the merch on the website, mm -hmm. and so right now there's no real way without a human interacting to sell yeah. anything via Shopify or whatever. But we're we're patiently waiting, you know, for those technologies to start turning on. I don't know, Mike D's upstairs. Maybe we poke at him a little bit and see <laughs> right. if there's something, you know. Okay, but, cool, uh, cool. So that could be a future utility when you have something as cool as all of these physicals, like real products. 
Uh, that's cool. That's cool. So you see right here on their website, they got their merch out. So every single one of these, if you shine different colored lights on them, they're going to move in front of your eyes, huh? Is that right? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Uh, Anywhere you see the color, it's going to come alive. I feel like we need... <laughs> now, uh, they're a little pricey, but that may... Come on, guys. This takes so much effort to... Uh, to get this, so it's a very high quality product. I'm not like I'm not saying it's not, but it's wrongly priced. It's very, I'd, I'd say it's very much worth it. I feel like I need one in my basement, y'all. Uh, I think <laughs> me and my roommates might need to pull in and get something. This is so cool looking. These these big tapestries, I mean, because we got a basement wall, you know, that's perfect for something like that. A party room. <laughs> yeah, we we've been known to uh, do a party room or two. We're often. <laughs> doing vip rooms at the back of the big parties like the festivals and stuff yeah so, I, I, I'd say it makes sense the yeah, man caves the, the 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 lady lady lounges all of them we, we <laughs> the smoke rooms yeah exactly yeah, you, yeah i'm over in mine right now that's why i'm spontaneously on and off the mic i don't want to be wow so you're selling a lot yeah i mean you said you've been here for for a while you've been at this for years huh so you're selling yep. a lot of product here, uh, so this is probably years of years worth of of oh, art, right? Yeah, yeah. 2008. Well, I'm on 15 that years. That's crazy. I've been doing. I've been blowing people's minds as strongly as yours just got blown by seeing all of this since 2008, with a flashlight and a poster. Pre-crypto, yeah, that, a flashlight and a poster. I heard that. Well, yep. <laughs> that's awesome. So, did you see? Have you seen the this uh, this category? I guess this uh, of spectra art. Have you seen it increase more in recent years with NFTs? Or well, I've been, has it been more just kind of steady. And you're I've been going it? around the the festival community and has Festivals. a lot of uh, yeah, visionary that. artists and stuff. I've mostly stayed in the festival lane and uh, not really spent a lot of time in where this isn't like more of the like standard thought process of daily to going to i don't know if that actually makes a applicable you know qualifiable comment there right, but right close close it's more my realm right so, yeah I, uh, I can see exactly to step out of there and uh get a little more visibility in places that need to see the color but so we we i've i've shared the light with so many people We've done so many events. If it's a major event, we've done it, man. We were in front of anywhere from ten to eighty thousand and up th people all the time for ten straight years, and then five more of like independent back behind the scenes, more like strategic placements, and then we've been uh, incubating for this, you know, main step into the into the the daily existence of people that run about the matrix on a regular day to day plus there's also an added component that i think mankind just takes for granted is that led lights have not been around forever we think they have but there was a point where led lights were not a thing and it's only really recently that like LED light has been able to be used the way artists are now using it, but mm -hmm. it's taken Jumby how many years? We've been doing this for 15 years. We've legitimately had so many particular needs for what we wanted that we've our requests have kind of sculpted the the production of some of these uh, LED products out there in the world for sure. So. Our our need to fulfill the things we're trying to accomplish with the art has definitely caused certain chips and program things to come into play that have uh, probably would have been another person's project. There's so many thousands of cool LED projects going out there. We are just mm -hmm. one extreme hobbyist situation. And basically because I got tired of holding the flashlight and pointing it at my picture, <laughs> I needed to put the light in the frame. So you know, we've this now is, this is been so much different this for a while. though than just than LED art though this is because you're using the lights on the physical art or the, the whatever the flat art is it's it's yeah. awesome the, the, the color changing art uh, the, it, there's a color theory that's built into all of the pieces 
that allow it to work so significantly in its way. But I, I'm excited to see other people join into the movement of this physics and see how their art becomes science and what they can do. Cause yeah, I'm looking at the portals now. Are these like one of ones? Like one person's gonna get it if they buy it. Uh, we're gonna be doing um, like archival edition runs of things. Right now, the ones that are up there are my pre left the last editions of my pre archival. Uh, we just sent um, a connective uh, link of portal down to uh, Key West and are working with some people in some gallery places that are gonna help us create this original digital art form into a, uh -huh. a so what is format this? that can meet the standard archival consumption. So this is like a this, these portals, this is a digital, like it says active LED matrix. So this- That's the, that's the big picture frames that are doing the multi waves of color. Okay. That's like, that's the, like the, the fine art original format. And so we're thinking we're gonna probably be doing 250 limited edition for all of the matrix ones uh that come out maybe 50 are extra special edition of that 250 and have them coming in some sort of like laser engraved format that gives you all of the you know here's your here's your digital receipt that the nft comes with here's like a package of fucking some clothes and cool stuff that all are about the piece of art that you just bought a whole like get jumbified care package based on the content that you're consuming. So yeah. that's awesome. That's where we're headed with these things. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, it looks just, exquisite. And uh, Jewel Eyes thank you. just says in the comment, I stand by my comment on Twitter. Much respect as an artist for manipulating this artwork style to create an illusion in such a unique and awesome style. I totally agree. It's an illusion. <laughs> it's an illusion well, of an light. Uh, I, yes, how, thank you. How, how many of you have thank never you. even uh, even thought about light affecting physical, like an art this way? I, like never even occurred to you that different changes of light can make something look like it's animated when it's not animated. Have you ever even heard of this before? Y'all in chat? Because <laughs> the first time I heard about it was uh with the novo thing and then i still didn't know much about it so just here on this interview i i, I learned a bit about the whole the whole thing i didn't know that a, a tapestry <laughs> will change in front of your eyes that's awesome and then there's 3d glasses for it too but 3D you know glasses. that's another layer down the rabbit hole we can go into that another moment wow awesome uh yeah, do you want me? Uh, do you want to screen share and show like more? Uh, do you want to go through some some more stuff? I just went through the website a bit. Uh, and we took a little tour of your of your place, and we looked at some NFTs. Anybody got questions? Throw them in the chat before before the interview ends. But did you guys want to show anything more? Do you have more? I'm I'm trying to think of what we have that we're able to show just yet i mean we have stuff that is already kind of out there but we are about to release something here shortly but is not quite done yet okay no um, worries no worries don't gotta don't gotta spoil the, <laughs> spoil the fam over it uh yeah it's awesome even if you don't buy these things just looking at them on the site is like you can really admire well here's the other thing to it like we've i live at the mothership i've lived in the color changing environment for like what two years now and every time like a pet comes over and visits they stare at the color changing art yeah. and like we know dogs don't really see color but they're clearly seeing something because they don't look at a tv the same way but they look at the art and they they're just staring at it and so there's got to be something that's happening, like Jumby was saying, like your eyes are actually moving, not the picture. And we see it in animals. And there's definitely healing properties to the light that we don't have the scientific evidence and peer-reviewed journals and things to say that it's working. But, you know, I live in here and it's, it's just much more peaceful. There's no buzz of white light. It's just a very different... Uh, environment to be in and until you're in it 
digitally doesn't really do it the justice that it deserves. You kind of got that's why I invite everyone. I, I said it on the other day, come by the mothership, you know, to see like if you're ever in Vegas, come check it out and you stand in the awe of what happens when you take the white light out and you, mm -hmm. you start changing it. It's like if there's any photographers in chat, it's basically like taking your white balance and making it green. And then your photos come out completely different. It's the exact same sort of idea of changing what your brain says is white and base color and just shifting it through the color spectrum. Wow. I feel pretty solidly that there's like a, a color therapy component of this that's waiting to be unearthed with like, you know, some sort of brain monitor that can like show mm -hmm. you quantitatively that there's, you know, extra activity going on in your brain in this region when you're looking at artwork with this light instead well, of there's, just there's you certainly know. a degree of it. Uh like it's it like seems eye like candy. It's, it's eye potent. candy. Uh like it's yeah. like looking at really pretty uh like nature photos is soothing too. Uh, yeah. It's kind of a yeah. It's a it, it has like a meditative sereneness to it. You kind of like I don't know I wouldn't say you like necessarily kick into a theta wave but maybe i don't know uh, who knows you feel like you gear shift into something that isn't the normal gear like we found a secret gear level here and it's very enjoyable and mm -hmm. <laughs> pretty and likable we've got everything from like you know toddlers to to your your grandma's grandma you know they're all they they love it. Everybody loves it because it's color. What's not to yeah, love? If you don't like one content, pretty, there's so yeah. much content. There's something you'll like somewhere, I'm sure. And it's pretty art. That's right. Uh, and, and, you, then, and you heard the guys. Your art. That's the next. That's the that's the step. Everybody can put it on their own art. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That That is interesting on where it will go. How much more in the future as it becomes easier. And like you say, the tools are available for more people yeah. to do this kind of stuff. Maybe it does become more mainstream. Yeah. An exponential growth rate could just like erupt out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it, th the idea that there is a time elapse happening with a color shift adds a new dimensional component to 2D printed artwork that makes this feel very much art movement like in a way that we decided it made the best sense to bring such movement to a blockchain. When was the last time there was an actual art movement? I mean, there's the digital art movement that's erupted, but like this is like a stylistic yeah, yeah, art movement sure. that's different. kind of coming into play. And like we're all here, we're alive. We have internet across the whole world right now. We can share connective ideas that we've never been able to do this when something like this was trying to emerge before that it feels like the right place to put it was wax mm -hmm. because it has the widest reach and the most accessibility so we can share it the furthest. Without paying an arm and a leg to, to get some. <laughs> Intelligent design, hundred thousand percent approved. Jumpy art approved. Bing bing. Well, oh I'm, so, I'm yeah, it's awesome. I'm very happy to have you in the space too. We're gonna definitely uh, keep up and see what all stuff you come out with. And yeah, this is this is awesome. And you and you guys, you heard the guys. They're over in Vegas, and they invited you over to the studio to check it out. So if anybody's in the Vegas area. Stop Come on, on down, man. Come on down. We'll 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 show you what professionally weird's all about. <laughs> professionally weird. That's right. Wow. Yeah, I grew up in Hunter S. Thompson's backyard. I'm legitimately a professional weirdo. When the going <laughs> gets weird, the weird turn pro. This guy. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at that one change colors. That's <laughs> crazy. Oh. And mind you, you're seeing like a snippet of one of those like 10 foot pieces right mm -hmm. so like i have so much potent content that we chop it up and reserve it in so many ways that it seemed like we couldn't just put it in one place if it's going to be some supremely archival thing we need to limit the number make it a certain way and then just you know drop it on everyone so right now we're still 
before the moment of the moment starting, right? So mm -hmm. we're like figuring out how to make this new digital art form an archival accurate canvas that we can deliver for people. Boom, I heard that. Color shifting cryptids soon, says Ren Man. We have cryptids uh -huh. in our in our collection. I wonder, yeah, we, you never know. Good. Yeah, if this becomes easier and more prominent, maybe other collections will start using color changing uh that's why we know the pangea my man and there we are go. knocking dominoes over as we speak you <laughs> want to get your art on the portal we are there to do it for you nice uh do you, where where, would, where can we get a visual of the the novo portal is there one online somewhere or you have uh, one in your your place ooh. The, the 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 one they have i don't know if there is one uh to see <laughs> oh, okay. they have it so with them the so one. okay gotcha there might be a there might be a video or a poster one of their shows yeah. that they talk about it on i don't know where to say to we find saw it, it, on, I know the, they on it their live stream but yeah that's cool that's cool hopefully we'll see more collections yeah they, they made things. it they made it what was it was it, uh a mythic yeah they made it part of a <laughs> mythic it better yeah. be mythic. It better. Yeah. There's only one of them. Of course, it's I was mythic. like, "Wow, you want us to be the mythic? Like, dude, I'll trophy you up all day. Let's ride." Uh, a couple of questions. Uh, what are some of Jumbie Art's favorite musicians? What kind of music y'all listen to? Sorry, I keep trying to push the wrong button. Uh, <laughs> music. I am. Uh, I am uh, aggressively affected by music, so like it's unbelievably magic. Like you input music, I output flavor and crazy shit. So I'm forever listening to music and just disappearing into the ether and letting things come out, which is just fantastic. But for me, I love funk. I am a funk fanatic. Funk I am a, just George Clinton funk. I James Brown. I grew up with the funk. It is in my blood. God made me funky, and I am glad that he made me this way. And that is all I got to say about that as far as that. If it's got a funky beat in it, I'm in. Nice. We've been on the Jumbotron for Grateful Dead visuals. I love electronic music. I'm a house head, techno, Detroit. What's up, Detroit? That's, that's kinda, you, go, uh, you go hard. I, I put together the track I do for all the collabs to kind of match the puzzle and the stream, too. We're listening to it. And yeah, oh, I got yeah? some uh, electronic, some psychedelic was my search word. Psychedelic, nice. <laughs> trippy music. Uh, Beautiful. A little bit we of, love that. A little trappy, but kind of more of a, I don't know, a trippy trap. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I love, I love good electronic music. So nothing beats having something on I'm, while you're I'm looking at our a, stuff. We get lost in and, people. And, <laughs> guitars and stuff very fast stuff my brain works very fast so i'm always like fast music but... yeah dude <laughs> hold All on right. to your belt Huey. uh uh somebody asked if i'm gonna give away sune packs on the stream i sure am i sure am we're gonna get there yeah we need to let's try to wrap this up and do the rest of the grubs it, it is a pleasure talking to you guys and learning more about this uh and and of course you guys are exhibiting so we'll see you at nftopia on your slides i'm sure you're gonna put some beautiful artwork there looking forward to the achievement badge you make uh and anybody in the chat if you have any last questions throw them in but otherwise go ahead and join the the fam i know you have a your twitter and discord is that the best place to to join in and, and keep updated yes yes jump in those two and uh, they'll be keeping you on the the cutting edge of our meeting the now from the future and delivering things in drips as we can get them into into the reality here uh and those links are on the bounty block so one way to do that is just to enter the bounty block and then you're counting on your follows and your joins as entries so go ahead and do that uh and yeah and if you're interested in, in the in the physicals uh if anybody's interested in that get on their store and maybe maybe you could be walking around wearing something changing colors <laughs> depending on the light that that's a heck of a conversation piece on there do do you ever do any like what what inspires you on your new arts are you just like going at it making a crazy collage of something or do you ever I've, have I've, 
uh, suggestions? I, I, I've, I've got a, I've got a backlog of concepts that are waiting to get out, and I'm working diligently to hold enough space to let them all come in into play. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Uh, so, so if if anybody has suggestions or ideas, uh, you you're welcome to throw them at the man. But he he's busy, and these things take a long time. But yeah. Uh, that that's the beauty of community is you tell you give your opinions and and they'll listen and and that, that's what it's all about that's the community absolutely i love it thank you guys for having us we really appreciate being here of course uh yeah so with that i think i'm gonna sign you off of the discord call you got you're welcome to keep watching and and hanging but it was awesome awesome to have you i love, love and and just the fact that just the style of it makes for an awesome puzzle game too so i love it when we have projects that have ex like extensive artwork as part of it and i throw that on the puzzle and it just makes it that much more fun to get in there and do it so it's absolutely awesome. we do puzzles as well physical puzzles so we're all about that game thank you again for having us we had it we will be here enjoying the rest of your show <laughs> right on, we'll right see you on. at Neftopia. all right see ya